Hi guys, welcome to the YCP. I'm your host, Ari. I'm Rich. I'm Malik. Sam Winchester. Nice. That's Sean. That's copyright. Sam Winchester as No, it's Sean. not. Yeah, it's in Sam Winchester, the guy from, uh, uh, from, uh... Supernatural? How yeah. is that copyright? It can be anybody's name. Very specific it's a good name. Point. No, it's <laughs> and you made the face, the Sam Winchester <laughs> face. So, like, so are you going to look at his documents then? Are you going to prove that his name isn't Sh Sam Winchester? Exactly. He could legally change it too. I could. It's too late. I already started on this. We're we're already too we're too far past it. And you're already, it's it's already too far past. Can we just talk about the fact that Nordstrom wanted to sell four hundred dollar jeans with mud caked on them? It's a trend. How is that a trend? Why is that a trend? Because <laughs> you know, Why? It gives you that rugged look. You want to go into the club, you want people to think you've been doing work. Oh, look at this guy. He's got mud on his jeans. You know what, he's legit. What kind of club would let someone in with mud on their jeans? It's not can, clean. And then you can get a matching denim jacket with mud on it. It's fantastic. No, like I understand that like the, the ripped jeans thing. It's like, this is a style. Let's do this. But you no, know, they're like, hey, let me just drag my mud into well, my jeans. They don't, mud. Ripped jeans might mean you're messy, you're dirty. You don't want to like... You don't take good care so of your mud, jeans, yeah. but with so money mud jeans, at least anyway. they're intact. Jeans. Well, you know, next time I have four hundred dollars just sitting around, I'll be like, you know, what? let me get a pair of mud jeans. That's right. You can show off your style. Why don't you just make them yourself? If you're, I like, think they're just that, trying to bring a little country concern. to the yeah, city. Yeah, they're all the rage with farmers. I bet. Yeah, exactly. So That's weird. because they have real mud on them. <laughs> yeah, not the kind of big. Yeah, mud but too. you don't want to, you know. You want to have the mud with, you know, all the goodness to it, but without the bad. Like, but, what if farmers? But it's have not real mud. Exactly. What you if farmers look, have like but a you don't get the ants and you know diseases and that kind of good stuff. Diseases That's right. And diseases and mud. <laughs> Who knows what happens? You know. Who knows what happens? You Who don't knows? need to know what happens because you have mud on the jeans already. Exactly. Yeah. I, Were you? Have you been a farmer before? Actually, my whole dad's family is farmers. So do they have those mud jeans? Listen, you don't yes, have to answer those questions. Yes, they do. Exactly. <laughs> But they have real mud on them. That's the difference. And then when you go in, I bet you're going to feel like an outsider because your jeans don't have mud on them. Now you don't have to. No, you can mm -hmm. spend $400 on your own money jeans. Without yeah, the hard work of being a farmer. I'm sure That's they're right. totally not going to judge me at all. Be like, why did you just show up with muddy jeans? Why don't you just get no, they'll jeans be like, ah, just get, I get a it. different pair of jeans, rip them yourself, and put mud on them? Bam. You don't want to. You don't want to be literally so dirty. Like so yeah, that's the thing. You don't want to literally be dirty. That's you want to look the part, but you don't want to feel the part. Yeah. You mm -hmm. don't want to be itching while you know rocking your four hundred dollar jeans. You know, I have no input in this conversation. I don't really care. You're wearing ripped jeans right you're now. You are wearing. They don't have mud on them though. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. You see. Okay. So we have to find a puddle real quick. We find some dirt. Just wait until next year. They're gonna have ripped then you can jeans sell for like with mud on them. <laughs> you can sell your jeans for four hundred dollars and get. Four or five pairs of normal jeans. If you're a smart shopper, you can get a lot more. I have a question, Probably. actually. Um, what is what? What do you? How much would you pay for a pair of jeans? Because jeans like twenty dollars. Just twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Fifty. Fifty. Fifty max. Fifty yeah. max. Because I know how to like take care of them. That's the thing. Even though they might be like cheap in quality, I can. I choose quantity over quality. Okay. You know, and I know how to take care of it. I know how to wash them. You know, so they won't stain, rip, or that kind of stuff. You know, so I don't need to spend a lot more money so I can get a lot more stuff, you know? Go to H&M, you find jeans in one section that's like $60 and up, and then you go into another section, it's like $20, maybe less, you know? What are you gonna go in? You go into H&M with $100. Where are you gonna go to? Which side? I think it depends what you're going, like the boy section. But would jeans really be your first priority anyway? Don't you assume people's gender? No, if you, if you need, if you, <laughs> if you, are in need of clothes, and you have the option, like H&M is right there. But to be on the whole materialistic thing, how much like is the most you would pay for any piece of clothing? Or is like, is there, it depend what it really is. Cause like, I feel like everyone has like one oh. like really expensive thing. Cause they're like, I had to get it cause Shoes. I want it. Shoes. I want to pay a dot for mm. like $120. I want to get yeah, like forty bucks. Same. I bought a pair of Docs for like one thirty, but okay. eh. And then also I bought a vest that was maybe eighty dollars, and that was only because like it was a band vest, and the leads like singer had recently died. You don't need to defend yourself. Okay, I'm just saying because that giving his no, it's, that no, because that was like when I really thought about it, I was like, wow, why did I do this? But then I realized <laughs> like. Well, it's to, you know, represent, like, one of my favorite bands and, to, you know, show my respect to, like, the lead singer who passed. Makes sense. So, that's, like, the only reason why. And with the boots, it kind of wasn't even my money, so. <laughs> it doesn't count. Yeah. It doesn't count. Awesome. 
So yeah. I'm like, never mind. No. Is there a problem? <laughs> no, it's just the weirdest thing. It's not mine, but people. What did, what did you do? Just like, hmm, just pit pocket with different people. No. <laughs> Ask their money. I'll take these. Have you seen the commercials? Ask your parents' permission. No, it wasn't even that. It was like it was a, it was a generous donation. It, w- it was not a donation, but it was like generous offering that. I was like, you know what? It's winter's coming up, so you know, might as well. It's a very weird choice it. of wording. Yeah. That, was, that was very John Snowish. I was just thinking that when you said it. Oh, it's coming, so. I need to stop binging like shows and stuff and really focus on living my life outside of my house. Oh my god, speaking of binging shows, I was trying to find full episodes of Red and Stimpy for the longest last night. I was so tight, I couldn't find any on YouTube, not on Hulu. You can find an uncensored version of one of the, like, their most infamous episodes on YouTube. You've looked this up before, haven't you? I have looked this up. Multiple times. Not multiple times. Just like, one, one time. I was staring at down when you said this. You've done this before. I can tell. Tons of times. You know, I can sense the sin. Why? I, I love that show. And I heard stories about it, so I was like, let me do some research. Invaders Pure research only. Just research. Pure research. Just research. Just research. Just research. Just research. Okay. Did you write a paper about it? I believe you. A mental paper. A mental paper. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was like, wow, I'm glad they didn't show this on like regular daytime television, you know? Don't. Don't no, judge I feel me. Like Don't judge me. Were you specifically looking for it, though, or was one of those things like, because YouTube has a really bad habit. It's not YouTube's fault. It's our fault. It's like, hey, you like this video? We recommend this video. And then four hours know. later, you know, like you're like, watching a documentary on Juggalos, and you're like, oh, okay, why not? I don't understand how Juggalos? I got... I don't know how I got to Juggalos. Juggalos? So no, were you Juggalos. watching Insane Clown Posse? Juggalos are Insane Clown Posse. It's, I literally found a, a documentary on the Insane Clown Posse fans, which are called Juggalos. Clown Posse. I started by researching... I was doing... A political science paper mm-hmm. on the Israeli and Palestine yes, conflict. Yes, yes, yes. Please justify yourself. Hmm? You were clearly mm-hmm. procrastinating. Mm-hmm. You got to insane. And then four hours later, <laughs> I get to the general thing. I'm like, why? No, what happened in between there? <laughs> I don't remember. It was one of those things where, like, I just watched everything through, and it, like, I hit that point. And I'm like, wait. There's no turning back now. Why am I watching this? <laughs> so you How did I get to this? Four point? hours procrastinating is what you're telling us. Now, well, who's disappointing whom? I'm sorry, Dad. You should be. Whoa, sounds like some pent-up traumas. I don't mm-hmm. have any pent-up trauma. My dad said he was proud of me once. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, only once? <laughs> Do you I mean, keep how many times has your dad said, said you keep proud. track of this? No, I don't. But you seem to. Because he can literally count on one hand. Count one, one finger, one actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like parental issues can always be a serious thing. Like, I, we, we like to joke about them a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot. <laughs> but no, they do. They do. I feel like they do. I mean, I think we can joke about it because we've moved past it. We've learned to accept it, and you know, that's how some people deal with trauma. They joke about it. Yeah, but it's, people aren't necessarily dealing with it. Like I got some daddy issues. Oh, but, so you're saying nobody deals with drama than you? No, I'm just saying so I'm not you. trying to deal with it. Like, oh, I'm trying to like, you know redirect my anger or whatever mm-hmm. it's just i can make fun of it i got daddy issues simple when you know that's funny. a neighborhood song right mm-hmm. daddy issues it's a really good song when you get to the, when can you like really get to that issue where you accept like like i feel like if you have parental issues which it's very common like when do you get to that point when we're like we joke about it all the time but like internally i feel like a lot of us joke about it but we don't we haven't really accepted the issue is kind of like we're still in denial of it, and we yeah. use the jokes like to. I don't have well, parental issues. Why are you saying we? For me, it was like in general. when I finally was able to understand my parents. Okay. Like when I was able to like really look past all of their deeds and like analyze it, and like why did you do it? You know what went wrong in your life, or what happened in your life, and that really gave me a new perspective on it. Cause like my mom gone through a lot and so she didn't know how to handle it she didn't know how to deal it so she made choices questionable choices some were for the good some were for the bad but at the end of the day it was like good intentions she didn't have the proper knowledge to like really handle a certain situation same with my father yeah it's like understanding is like the first step to like getting over your parental issues it's like understanding your parents and their logic behind the actions that they take I think I would actually put it because I feel like, I feel like a lot of times we like 
we we don't humanize them as much as we should. And like they, a lot of the reasons they make they make the choices and reasons they do for a reason. I think we have to remember that like there's there's some kind of thought process behind it, and I feel like we do forget that. Mm-hmm. But this um, is when there should be like a close up of Rich's face as he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> Please help the children. <laughs> They're waiting. You can call this number at whatever number is right here. One eight hundred. Save the, he says the, the children. children like he's so much older than us. One eight hundred. Daddy I'm, issues. I am a mature adult with a full face. You're, you're real proud I'm of that face. facial hair. I'm a, I'm merely older than you. They don't need to know that. Why do you always think you're older than someone? Why do you always assume Be- you're older? Because I, I like to How think you, so. How dare you assume my I, age? I like to think so. It makes me feel special. Like how tall I am. I get to look down on people. That's fantastic. Good, good for you. You, you sound like some like... Sounds that like sounds like some like way. weird CEO. <laughs> like, I get to look down on all of you. I am in the penthouse. I am over all of it. No, because like there's restaurants. I have a, one of my best friends. She works in a restaurant and like the manager's office is like above it. And she, she, like, the manager has like a window to watch the restaurant. So she'll call down to like the host and everything and be like say things. And I, I'm, I hear that story. I'm like... That's just someone that's on a mad power trip. It's like, I see all of you. I'm watching everyone from the top. That's, it's like no, Horton, I, I, it's Horton Hears a Who, no, just I think in a he, scary I, way. Yeah. I see how much you're tipping everyone. No, I honestly think you're right, because like when I see someone that's like bigger than me and I have to look up at them, I feel threatened in a way. It's like, I don't know why. It's like, are you challenging my authority? Yeah. What authority is this? Yeah, what, what where, authority where are, are you that you have authority? Say. Come on, don't don't belittle me like that. No, I have authority. I, uh, no, I, feel you I know, get it. Like, belittle. I, I'm taller than I started you. finding people who were like taller than me because I, I used to be like the tallest in my kindergarten class and a lot of good stuff. That's a long time ago. A long, long time ago. And like you know, you get older and realize that there are taller people. So you can't bully people anymore. No, but it's like when you're not used to it though. You're always used to Never being like that tall one that has to duck when entering the room. You know, then that's the worst though. I know. Like, I have to watch my head on, like, when I'm on a bus. Oh, hey, guys, so... So? Yeah, so? I just remembered I have a Power Ranger band-aid. I got really excited. I wanted to share give it me, with you guys. Give me, give me, give me, give me. No. You want someone's dirty band-aid? <laughs> Frame it. It's I'm not going to wear it. It's weird. I mean... Let me see, at least. Look. I, I wear glasses. I can't see anything. Yay. I'm scared you're going to take it off my face. I'm not going to... No. <laughs> you were just asking for it. He's going to eat it. This yeah, band-aid is clearly an high I'm not going to take... Look I've, your I've, eyes. I've never Ooh. seen someone yeah. fight over a band-aid before in my life. But like, it's not even like, like a very... just have a close-up of the link going? It's like, being like... Mm. It's not even like very good-looking Power Rangers band-aid. It's still a Power Ranger band-aid. I mean, there, there was a White Ranger band-aid, but there was only one and I used it already. I'm kind of sad now. I remember I used to fight my brother over Rocket Power band-aids. Rocket Power was a bad show. I'm Rocket sorry. Rocket Power was not that good. No, the movie was good. I enjoyed the movie. I remember the, the movie. The, I don't remember the, the movie. I remember the, liking the Hawaiian, Hawaiian guy. Movie. Oh, oh, uncle. Yeah. Oh, the I remember whole, it. Guy. I think I remember yeah. it. Otto. I forget his name. It was name. Otto Reggie. Ah. No, the, the adult Hawaiian Sam. guy. I forget his name. Uh, the one with the brother. Sam. Yeah, like not the father, but the other Oscar. guy. Oscar. Oscar? I think. No, it wasn't was Oscar. the brother's name or something? I'm not sure. Either way, he was the only good part of that show. Who was? The Hawaiian. Tito. Guy. Tito. Tito. He was good. always. Wasn't he the one that was always high? <laughs> <laughs> I would you, was one would you blame them. him? There was one and of <laughs> Would you blame yeah, him? Yeah, he had the like the, the goatee. No, he always wore like no, the, the, the was, bucket hat. No, that was and, no, that was not him. That was Lars. No, that wasn't Lars. That yeah. was the yeah. universe with the gauges. Oh, maybe that's what I'm something. Why did I, Where did you even get this? I don't know. Stay sharp. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually an expo. It's an, I was gonna say it's an expo. Whatever. It's a Get marker. your markers correct. It's a marker. Sir. Um, you can't just like you. Can't, I'm pretty sure if you said this is a marker and you're holding like a Crayola magic marker, then no. Like, well, you just said magic marker. I'm just focusing on that band aid, man. Just a nice. You, you need to get over the band aid. You really need to get over this band aid. Do you, you have another one? No. What? <laughs> Are you gonna like? The power why would you need to use? Why do you need <laughs> no, because you know how like that that old school style where people would put band aids over their face. Nelly, on uh, like Nelly's album, it's like really one the famous one that hot in here. I forget what it's called. Maybe that was the album actually time. He has one like right here. I'm like, why do you, why do you just have, the same, they all have band on their this face like in anime. Circle. In the yeah, same I way know. money jeans exist. It's no, this trendy. Is, this is a full circle. It's literally, what is wrong with people and their, their fashion sense is that, because there was a post online I saw actually yesterday too. It's like, 
in 10 years, what things are we going to make fun of? And I know like, one of them was like man buns, and the other one was like... We're, we have to wait 10 years to make fun of those? We're not <laughs> doing that now? I mean, <laughs> what about space buns? Wait, what? Space buns? I've never heard of that. The little Minnie Mouse ears, like my buns. So you just want to draw attention to your hair then? Okay. Well, you said man buns. Guys, get a close-up of your hair. Buns. Your, your, your hair is okay, great. So I'm very proud of you. I guess I can bring back the mohawk then. If that's gonna be an issue, Dude, like, I mean, no, a full hawk. Was mohawks gonna say mohawks? Mohawks just trend like they're always a thing. Yeah, mohawks are kind of a thing. But what about that thing where people should like shave like um, shave almost all of the hair, but they just have like the one on top, and then like they just mine? tie it. No, that's actually that's actually what the picture was. There's a picture of Marco and Anna, bitch. I'm gonna demand whoever edits this, you know, to find a picture of this guy and how his hair is. And that was an exact perfect example of it. Like, cause it's not like a full, like if you're the full man bun, it is what it is. But when you're the little like snippet that's like this long, you just have it like, you know, like tied back. And like, so it's like a yeah. ghetto ponytail. It's like, yeah. There's nothing there. No, it's just pointless. It's like, I just want to have this. It's like three this. strands of hair. Okay, it's, you're exaggerating a little. It's at least seven. <laughs> you know what? Without Kenya, I just it just feels empty having this podcast right now. So oh, I well, want to speak I'm sorry, my presence isn't as. It's not you. It's her. him. It's definitely him. I don't know. It's, it's definitely rich. No, nope. I feel like it's rich. Yes. So we're just gonna play the blame game now. No, because someone feels like they don't belong. What if we had the marker, we can spin it. Like the, do we? If we had, let's, let's, keep let's, let's see who doesn't belong. Because random the, things are. Fun. The side way to Samsung points. That person doesn't belong. That's not really gonna go, spin go, that. Go, Is this really go, what we're go, 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 go. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. So apparently we're getting a new host because Mari doesn't belong. So um, excuse you. Goodbye. Um, just gotta get through. Sorry, I gotta. I gotta get through. Oh here. yeah. Pardon me. So I guess with that we're gonna end this. 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 This is a weird podcast. Yeah, we got just through, as opposed to all the normal podcasts. Which is, yeah, we just, have. Turn, just turn it off. Can mute it and uh, bye.